I wanted to react to something real quick. And yes, it does involve the Mr. Beast drama. That's right. It does. Okay. So Dog Pack 404 uh, basically shared a thread, a new thread that was made about Mr. Beast. And I did kind of want to react to it. So this is what Dog Pack said in his tweet. He said, good thread. Shows that Mr. Beast might have at least 60 more crypto wallets. I love to see someone do a full investigation. Now, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, the thread really wasn't that great, to be honest. Like the thread didn't really show anything crazy. What the thread did was it just kind of went into, you know, just a little bit of detail in some of this guy's findings, this uh, angel face peanut person. And basically the fact that Mr. Beast has all these different crypto wallets. But what angel face peanut didn't do is, you know, this person didn't piece everything together, which I don't expect them to. I'm not mad at them. I'm just letting you guys know that if you're expecting like a, Thaw Pack 404 type investigation video or like a CoffeeZilla type. It wasn't really that. Wasn't really that. But I did still want to go over the thread anyway, because especially because Dog Pack shared us. Obviously, Dog Pack uh, liked the thread about Mr. B. So let's just go ahead and look at it, right? So first, let's go ahead and zoom in. That's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're just going to go ahead and read a little bit of the thread. So here's what it says. This is an incredible video that goes into several shady borderline illegal details about Mr. Beast, one of which is regarding his crypto history. It's a great segment I recommend, but there's more to cover uh, than what Dog Pack and Rosanna pointed out. Let me show my findings. So now he says, disclaimer, this is an opinion piece. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm also not a crypto expert whatsoever. Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Also, I'm not the only person to have discovered some of the things I'm going to talk about. Just want to clarify that. So it's good that he's saying from the jump that he's not a crypto expert. He's just showing some of the things that he found. And he just wanted to share like what he found because he thinks it's interesting. But I would be very interested to see somebody like a Zach XBT who's very good at going into people's crypto wallets and uncovering crypto scams or even somebody like a coffeezilla you know it would be very interesting to see them kind of dig into this and see what they find although i don't expect it because for the most part coffeezilla is dealing with a lawsuit um he doesn't seem interested in the mr beast drama and zach xbt doesn't seem all that interested either but anyway uh let's keep going so first it says first let's talk about coinbase and his second most viewed video mr beast promoted a coinbase sweepstakes giveaway the segment has since been cut from the original, but you can still find it here. So basically, Mr. Beast in the past promoted a coin, a Coinbase sweepstakes uh, giveaway, but he cut it from his original video. But Coinbase still has the footage. And then it says it's not the only sponsor he's cut before. I wonder why. OK, let's go ahead and just like play some of the video and see like what he actually says. Hold on once. Attention. We have a sponsor. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys about Coinbase, which makes buying, selling, and sending cryptocurrency incredibly easy. Woo, Bitcoin! I'm going to give each of you that get out during this ad $2,000 in Bitcoin. Because with Coinbase, it literally takes five seconds to send you crypto. Does anyone want to get out before I say the next slide? Okay! Yeah! Okay. All right! Coinbase is the best place to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and many other cryptocurrencies. All you have to do is download the Coinbase app, link your bank account, and boom, almost instantly you can start buying and sending crypto. Before I do the next line, anyone else getting out? Hey! Coinbase makes it so simple that even Chandler uses All right, I think that's enough of that. Uh, yeah, these these giveaways are always scams. They always are. I, I actually just exposed in my video that I made yesterday that basically uh, somebody called Mr. Beast out because him and Kaisen and I did this $250,000 giveaway and they never gave the money out. Like this stuff, this stuff is always like a gigantic scam. What just happened? Okay, we're good. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, says here, due to the number of sponsors he's cut before, it could be contractual, though it doesn't look good when Coinbase has been charged by the SEC and by the Supreme Court, the latter for a sweepstakes giveaway. Okay, I do want to be fair. So, yes, Coinbase did get charged by the SEC, but it really was unfair. I, I got to be honest here. Uh out of all the crypto brokerages out there, Coinbase is actually one of the, probably the only reputable one. Coinbase is the most heavily regulated crypto brokerage. It's completely different than FTX. It's completely different than Binance. Um, they're heavily regulated. And as far as I know, they've never scammed anybody ever. You know, they never stole the money and the CEOs ran away. As a matter of fact, their CEO 
who founded the company is still serving as a CEO. His name is Brian Armstrong, I believe. But uh, yeah, just to kind of push back on that part, I, I understand what he's saying. He's basically trying to paint it that Mr. Beast, you know, did a giveaway with Coinbase and Coinbase got investigated by the SEC. But just to be fair, uh, Coinbase is actually OK. They they really are. I, as Until they prove me otherwise, you know, uh, I haven't seen anything fishy with them. OK, continuing to read the thread, he said, and if you watch that Rosanna video, you would know about Jimmy's old Reddit account uh you slash mr b6000 and if you look at this account you'll see that he himself has had bad experiences with coinbase yeah to be fair i had a bad experience with coinbase too actually um i don't think coinbase is a scam but i do think that coinbase is not the best app for crypto i've had problems like there's been times where i use coinbase in the past because for those who don't know i've been investing in crypto for a while like I bought crypto back in like 2017, 2018 when I was in college, you know, whatever year it was. But uh, yeah, I've had issues with Coinbase. One, Coinbase has insanely high fees, which I hate. Their fees are ridiculous. It's almost like a scam how much they charge you just to like do anything with your crypto. That's one. And then two, I did have issues with drawing my money at one point. I eventually did get my money, but eh, Coinbase is not the best. Oh, their, their user experience, like in terms of you figuring out an, a problem, like a, a resolution to whatever issue you have, Coinbase is horrible at that too. Like if you email like their customer service, huh, good luck. Is They're just going to give you like generic dumb answers. It's kind of like when you email YouTube when you have problems. It's the same thing. It's horrible. Okay. Speaking of, let's look at this Reddit. Because if you scroll through the comments, you'll see that Jimmy mentions owning a crypto mining company. Okay. And to be clear, he's not joking. If you search the North Carolina business registration site, you'll find Mr. Beast Crypto LLC, a company that was dissolved at the end of 2017. Bitcoin mining takes up 0.55% of global energy production, aka a small country. Okay. Here's the latest article on that. This is all pretty concerning. And there are other smaller instances I could bring up like Creator League and XCAD that look bad too. Instead, I like to bring attention to something Dog had brought up in that Rosanna video, Mr. Beast Crypto Wallet, or should I say wallets? Dogpack used a site called Arkham to find this wallet, which I know because I found it too before this video came out and decided to look around and see what I could find. I didn't find a potential rug pulls like he did, but I found something pretty interesting. Arkham has a tool that lets you track a wallet and see where their funds are going. It will also use an AI to look at an account and its transfers and will tell you if it thinks the account is owned by someone bigger like Mr. Beast. So I tracked. Bear with me. This is messy. Once again, I'm not an expert in crypto, but let me try to break this down as best as I can. The white in the middle is his official crypto account. The sections in red and green are seemingly his other accounts. The blue are his crypto deposits where he sells his coins. I found 16 wallets connected to Jimmy, each of which have only interacted with his account. Some of these wallets have received millions of dollars worth of crypto. For example, blank wallet right here has received 1.32 million alone. This is only one of his accounts. Those with a keen eye may have noticed another account below the official Mr. Beast. That's Bobby Digital, an open C user who presumably is also of Mr. Beast. While the account owns several NFTs and has made several trades with real people, the crypto transactions are strictly beast. So I know what you're thinking. Why does he feel the need to have this many crypto wallets? Has he done anything immoral or even illegal with any of them? And overall, what does any of this truly mean in the grand scheme of things? Is this something worth car caring about? I don't know. And then, he's, and, then he, and then he ends the thread basically by saying, I almost didn't post any of this because of my lack of knowledge in the space. Because even if I could trace all these accounts and link them together while telling the story of Mr. Beast having a history of doing shady things in the crypto space, it has 100x less impact. Yeah, I think what this guy would have been better off doing, I think what this guy should have did is he should have took what he found and he should have sent it to the coffee dealer, Zach XBT, and see what they could actually find. Because right now, all you're basically saying is Mr. Beast did a giveaway with Coinbase. Uh, which fine. And then you're also saying that Mr. Beast has all these crypto wallets and he's, you know, buying and selling and trading and exchanging crypto and moving them between his wallets. But you're not actually saying like what exactly he really did. So I do agree though. Having all those wallets is definitely fishy. Like why do you have 16 crypto wallets? I do agree with that. But the problem is nobody's going to care because like, what did he do? And, you know, you, and you gave the disclaimer. I'll give this guy credit. 
he gave the disclaimer basically saying he doesn't really know anything about crypto. This is just an observation that he made. But, you know, I just feel like, uh, you know, send this to like an expert so they can like break down like what's really going on here. So then he just goes into blah, blah, blah. We also know from this clip of Impulsive that Mr. Beast may have been allegedly taking part in market manipulation with Logan, known scammer, and Gary V. That is true. Logan Paul is a known scammer. I don't care about the fact that he's suing CoffeeZilla. Logan Paul is 1,000% a known scammer. Make no mistake about it. Okay. Through a fan-made crypto punk site, you can see he made over $1 million. Okay. You know what? I actually do remember this. So there's this guy named Gary V. He's like an influencer. Gary V. basically convinced all these like huge YouTubers like Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, and a few others to buy CryptoPunk NFTs for like a million dollars. And what do you think happened when crypto crashed back in like 2022? The NFTs crashed as well. And all these influencers lost a lot of money. There was even an article about Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber brought an NFT for like $5 million and he ended up selling it for like 100 k Like he lost an insane amount of money. It was crazy. Uh, let's read the rest of this thread. But honestly, I think there's so much more to find out through all of this that I am unable to due to my lack of experience. I plan on posting my findings and stop for that reason. That is until Dogpack himself motivated me to post the thread and inform people about it. That's interesting that Dogpack wanted you to post a thread about this. I actually think that this was kind of a now that I know the backstory that you weren't going to post it, but you asked Dogpack about it and he said post it. I actually don't think that was a good idea because, like I said, when you post a thread like this, you're just giving your opinion. I mean, that's fine. It's your opinion. But besides people like me who are going to cover this, because I am going to clip this into a video, most people aren't going to really care, you know, unless you really have something. And I just feel like that's why CoffeeZilla, CoffeeZilla's input on this whole situation will be so much needed because he's so good at uncovering stuff like this, you know, or Zach XBT. So that's what I have to say. It's not the biggest investigation whatsoever, but I think it's important considering all the allegations surrounding Mr. Beast and especially the ones surrounding crypto and gambling, because even if it's not much alone, it helps corroborate that. As someone who used to be one of his biggest fans, we have all been wearing rose-colored glasses for the past few years, and now, after all this time, we see the true colors. Even if you dismiss this entire threat as a nothing burger, it's alarming how many things have come out. Yeah, I would agree with that. And then that's about it. Yeah.